Rapidly advancing artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence or AI. 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 Oh, there is no camera. You can't travel because the video was generated by AI. AI has been a topic within the news a lot recently, and I mean, probably for good reason, as AI has threatened to take over multiple industries. We have some good AI and we have some not so good AI, and we're gonna talk about all of them in this video. And we're gonna talk about two in this video. The main two that have made headlines over the past couple weeks, because I feel like I'm one, a little late to the party, and two, a little more qualified to talk about AI than most, because I actually do use AI for recreational purposes, I guess. Mainly just chat GBT, honestly. None of the other AIs ever really stood out to me besides Grok, which is like the worst fucking AI I think I've ever seen in my lifetime, but hey, we're only at the beginning. Everyone seems to think that AI is going to take over the world and replace everyone and every single thing on the planet. I, I don't see that being true in any way. At least right now, it might be in like 100 years, maybe even 40, actually, you know. There's an AI in here we're going to talk about that's pretty goddamn scary, but with the way AI is shaping up right now, it does not feel like it's going to take over anything at all, actually. It feels like it is such a gimmick that it cannot be taken seriously. And that's mainly because these massive organizations that have built these goddamn AI are straight up just retarded. Google has made headlines over the past couple weeks for their Gemini AI which is probably the funniest fucking AI I've ever seen. You would think, right? Google, the multi-billion dollar tech company that has been around longer than anyone in the AI game. You would think they would have an actually good, usable AI. No. Now nah, they said, screw it, we're making racism, which is literally what they did. They went so hard in the paint that to try and mitigate the amount of racism coming out of this AI, they just made it racist. For those of you who do not know how AI works or what makes AIs different from each other is the way that the companies create the prompts. See, there's two different types of prompts for AI. There's the user prompts and then there's the system prompts. The user prompts are like what you type in, right? It's like, what is two plus two? Or like, draw me a picture of George Washington. And usually the AI will either answer the question or do the thing, right? That's what it's supposed to do. But in the system prompt, that is where the developers and the coders get involved and they are like, hey, if they type this in, these are the standards you are supposed to use when answering a question or when depicting something. And for some reason, Google decided to let their developers just make it so that way Gemini could not create anything white. I'm, I'm not joking about that either. You've probably seen the headlines, but this thing is actually incapable of creating the color white. Not just white people, the actual color. Like it refuses to create anything white. Which has led to it being way, way, way more racist than, um, than initially intended. Because you see, taking an entire color out of the spectrum and not allowing something to create things within that color, especially when it pertains to people, that's way more racist than anything else you could possibly do with it. On top of that, it made it so that way, no matter what prompt you put in, it would never be a white person coming out, right? And I can't show the images for some of these because they're just blatantly racist. Like it made every single image worse. On top of that, we also had a lot of historical inaccuracies with this AI life for instance the whole viking thing i don't know what the fuck it was i don't know what crack the developers were smoking in this boardroom here but it clearly was some really good shit because they somehow google doesn't know what vikings look like on top of that if you were to ask this thing questions about historical figures it would try to argue with you about racial identity for some reason which is also really fucking crazy to do like just imagine putting in like all right well what race was Hitler? And then this thing comes out and is like, well, actually, Hitler might have had some African descent. Like, what? Where on God's green earth are you pulling this information from, Mr. Google? Why is your AI trying to argue that everything comes from African descent? Like, that doesn't make it good. This got so bad to a point where now we have black Nazis, we have black Vikings, we have black... Ku Klux Klan members, we have a lot of crazy shit because this AI refuses to create white things. And that leads to a lot of crazy historical inaccuracies. 
including the whole George Washington thing that blew up a couple weeks ago where it was like where someone asked what race George Washington was and it tried to argue that he has some African descent going on and it was pulling that from his adopted son which is fucking absurd and now we have black Elon Musk too because it just refuses there is absolutely nothing wrong with adaptations but when someone's asking for historical accuracy I believe you should provide historical accuracy let's try not to rewrite history here because history is gorgeous and the African history is amazing you should look into African lore it is fucking crazy and super fucking cool but let's not try and pretend that every single thing was African descent or Asian descent. It was also trying to make like Asian Nazis and stuff like that, which was absolutely crazy. I mean, hey, the Japanese were wilding in the 1940s, but we're not talking about that right now. I think this just kind of goes to show that AI is not going to take over shit if it continues down this way, because companies are horrified of insulting people. They're so horrified of insulting people as a matter of fact, that they just end up insulting people further. They are so scared of being canceled that they think that making everything PC is the way to go. It's really not. It gets kind of tedious and boring. I don't think anyone likes this, like at all. I don't think, I don't think anyone is a, is a fan of this. I don't think most people want their race associated with Nazis due to Google and its dumbass AI. That's ridiculous. But on the flip side of that coin, we actually have terrifying AI. We have Metal Gear levels of AI. We have I have a harem full of smoking hot babes, and we're all sitting on the floor in the waiting room of Jiffy Lou. A AI that could possibly create the craziest propaganda to have ever hit this planet. Meet Sora. And no, not the one from Kingdom Hearts. This is an AI that I actually genuinely fear. And both of these AI to me go to show that we are heading in the wrong direction with AI and there's nothing to be done about it, which I'll give my take on that later. But Sora, most of you will probably know this by now because it has been all over the fucking news, is an AI that can generate highly realistic videos. And I'm talking highly, highly realistic videos. If you were not keen, on the fact that AI exists, you could easily fall for this very, very quickly. And even I fell for it. And I use AI on the daily. I keep up with AI news. Like I know AI, but this video of puppies terrifies me. It genuinely does terrify me because it goes to show how easy it's going to be to manipulate the population with this type of shit. The issue is going to come when ignorance is the most valuable currency on the planet to these corporations and politicians. Because through ignorance, we are going to get wars. We are going to get a lot of people buying into this propaganda that is going to come out of Sora. There will be propaganda coming out of Sora. We already have propaganda coming out of like just voice AIs, which also is a whole other bag of worms. That shit is terrifying. And even with Gemini, I feel like if people are genuinely dumb enough, they, they'll believe some of the shit that comes out of that AI. We are about to see one of the biggest mass misinformation campaigns that has ever been released on this fucking planet. And I'm not a fan. <laughs> That's genuinely horrifying to me. I, I don't understand how we allowed this technology to go where it is. No one was asking for this, by the way. I don't understand the point, and I cannot see a rhyme or a reason for Sora's existence outside of malicious intent. There is so much harm that is going to come out of this AI that it makes no fucking sense to allow it to continue. There's only one good type of AI in my opinion. Only one. The assistant AI, which is ChatGPT. Just straight up. And it's why it's the most popular. Because it does its job good. It's not trying to replace anyone. It's not trying to replace anything. ChatGBT is just a tool. You can use it however the fuck you want and it's going to create and help you create whatever the fuck you ask for, right? And it's not going to make a hyper-realistic video of Trump in 2030 clapping his oiled up cheeks. That's not gonna happen through ChatGBT, but that might happen through Sora. Just like how we might end up seeing a video of Putin launching fucking missiles at the White House. That could be a possibility through Sora, even if it doesn't actually happen, which could start a war, like a massive world war. 
I'm not sure exactly why AI companies and corporations are trying to go down this route of, oh, let's have this thing make the most realistic videos possible. Let's have it to where you cannot tell the difference instead of like the Cortana route or like the Jarvis or whatever, you know? The AI assistant is the peak of AI. That is where it should stop. We should just work on making the best assistant to humanity instead of trying to make the biggest propaganda machine outside of fucking George Orwell's books. You know, like it, it doesn't make any goddamn sense. We already have a lot of misinformation about a lot of things. And that was before AI existed. So to see that AI is going down this path terrifies me to no end because that means Kojima was right. And I hope to God it doesn't get carried off any further than this. And I really hope that people come to their senses when they see that they're creating literal propaganda machines because that's what this will be used for. Anyways, if you like this video, please go ahead and leave a like, leave a subscribe and go ahead and drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Shout out to all my members, Magic, Harley, Grandpa IX, Kenna, and myself for being the silliest geese on the planet. The silly geese have created Goose AI. Yes, it's a talking goose AI. Unfortunately, none of you will ever be able to see it because we sent it off to the Andromeda galaxy to see if ancient alien life would critique it. So um, we'll hear back from that in about like 3 million years. And you can hear back from that in 3 million years time too for only $5 a month. And for those $5, you get all the things listed on this list right here listed on this list. So... Why don't you go ahead and check that out? Because I think you would really enjoy it. Anyways, if you like this video, go check out this video right here where I ramble schizophrenically about a goat. I'm not joking.